Hello everyone, today we're taking a look at Ransomware, a new ransomware that just came out a few days ago. In fact, I got tweeted about it three times in the span of five minutes, so I knew it must be pretty good. However, this ransomware comes with a twist, where instead of paying bitcoins to decrypt your files, you are forced to play Toho on the hardest difficulty and achieve a certain amount of points. And once you do, your files are automatically decrypted. You can see I have it here on Windows 10. However, if we look at our drives here, we have an A drive, our C drive where everything is running, of course, our disk drive, and then our shared folders. And very unfortunately, but ransomware will crash when you run it on this because it will try to encrypt files on all drives, and if it comes across one that it cannot actually encrypt, then it will crash, such as the optical disk drive. You can't write to it, and ransomware can't handle that, so poof, there it goes, it's gone. So, let's switch to another operating system where everything's set up just right so ransomware can activate. Alright, so we're here on Windows 7, and we've actually set this virtual machine up so we have nothing but the C drive, and so we are good to go to have ransomware encrypt our files. So we have some dummy files here on the desktop, just a bunch of sample pictures, JPEGs, we have some music from Age of Empires 2, which, you know, it's great, but we're going to lose it because it's going to be encrypted. We also have our good document.txt. It is good. Close out of it. And we have a zip file containing the ransomware itself, which will also be encrypted. So we will just go ahead and run this. And it takes no time at all to tell us warning. Your system has been encrypted by Rensa, but it actually gets uh, cut off the side here. So it's encrypted by ransomware. What the hell is it? Well, this anime chick right here, I'm assuming, encrypted all of your files, well, all of the files of the correct file type, and now you must play Toho to the score of 0.2 billion on lunatic level in order to decrypt it. So, good luck, everybody. It is time to play Toho, and unfortunately the game does not come bundled with the ransomware. You have to go out and find it, which I did. And it turns out I'm really bad at it, but we're going to try it anyway. We'll fire it on up here. And I must warn you again, I have no idea what I'm doing in this game because I am terrible at bullet hells and shoot 'em ups. And we gotta switch to lunatic mode. Well, and now it's not even detecting that we're actually running this game. So this could be bad. Oh, there we go. The process is working. And we gotta choose our anime girl. I choose you. I don't know what I'm doing, so I choose that. Sounds good. Alright, let's shoot. Let's get it. We gotta get our point two billion points so our files are okay. If we don't, we're screwed. Cause we got some really important stuff on- Oh no, we died. Alright, we got this. That was just a little slip up. It's okay. We're shooting. We're shooting things. We're getting them. Get that guy. He died. Alright, we're doing okay. We're making it. We are doing stuff. Get that thing. I don't know what that is. But we need it. Oh, wow, we made it quite a ways. We're over 100,000 points. We definitely got this, alright? We just gotta do that a lot more. And we're good. Blow them up. Get them. Our files are on the line here. Oh, shit. Well, I lost. And I did not quite make it to 0.2 billion. In fact, I didn't get anywhere close to that. But, fortunately... We don't actually have to get there, because this ransomware was created as a joke. I don't know if it was actually supposed to be released and picked up by Bleeping Computer and other malware blogs, but the author did release a ransomware forcer, which is basically cheat engine directly for this ransomware. It detects when we're actually running the game, and in lunatic mode, and will allow us to decrypt our files. So if it would hurry up and load, we can do it. Choose the red girl, why not? Alright. So we're just gonna 9999999 and force it. And there we go. Since we have achieved the score at once, it decrypts our files. Oh, the game crashed. Cool. Oh god, what happened? Okay, decryption actually completed. So thankfully the game crashing did not lead to us losing any files. But if there are any if there were any files left encrypted, it actually drops the key to your desktop. And you can use the manual decryptor here to select a file. You choose your key from the desktop, 
you choose your IV file and then you choose any file that might still be encrypted and using the two previous files it will decrypt it for you and you'll get your files back so all of our files are now good once again they're no longer totally encrypted we can see our pretty penguins and we're good we have an exit button now and we can exit so that is about it for ransomware hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully I did not completely crush the hopes and dreams of any weeaboos out there by being terrible at this game and yeah that's about it thank you for watching take care